In this problem, we want to approximate x1, x2, and x3. And in the previous problem, we showed that x of n plus 1 equals 2xn minus axn squared. So we have x1. That means that our n is 0. So let's write it in with that. So we have 2 times x0 minus a x0 squared. So we're given that x0 is 1 and a is 8. Okay. So 2 times 1 is 2. 1 squared is 1 times 8. We have negative 6. So, right? One down, two to go. So we have, now we want to find x2. So, our a doesn't change, but now we're looking for x1. So we have 2 times negative 6 minus 8. I don't know, that was negative 6 squared. So we have negative 12 minus 8 times 36. Which is Negative 12 minus 288 is negative 300. Wait, is that correct? Yes, it is. But I wrote these down wrong. So don't actually know what that is off the top of my head anymore. And this is okay. Then we want x three. So we have x three. Eight times negative three hundred squared. Oh, what am I doing? times negative 300 minus 8 times negative 300 squared. Let's put right down that to here. We have negative 600 minus 8 times 90,000. That's a really large number. Negative seven hundred and twenty thousand six hundred. 